case, we're going to have a look at expanding triple brackets, also referred to as cubics, but we're going to have a look at expanding these. So grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, make some notes, and we're going to have a go at them. So we've got three brackets here, x plus 3, x plus 4, and x plus 1. Now when we were expanding a triple bracket, very similar to when we were expanding a double bracket in the process that I use, um, but it just tends to be a little bit longer, it tends to get a little bit messier, and you just got to keep it all really nice and tidy and just be careful with what you're doing. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to focus on two of them to start with, and it doesn't matter which two you pick, I tend to pick the two that look the hardest to expand, and for me that's going to be these first two here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to expand those two, I'm going to forget about the x plus 1 for the moment. So I'm just going to rewrite that, x plus 3 and x plus 4. And I'm just going to expand this just like I did with my double brackets. So x times x gives us x squared. x times 4 gives us 4x. x times 3 gives us 3x. And 3 times 4 gives us 12. And again, just make sure you tidy this up now before looking at the next one. So we'll tidy those up. We get x squared plus 4x, sorry, plus 7x plus 12. There you go, once it's all tidied up. Now we've done that, we just want to reintroduce that final that final bracket that we had in the question there, the x plus 1. Okay, so let's stick all of this in a bracket, and we're going to times that by the x plus 1. There we go. Now at this point it does start to get a little bit messy, so make sure you've left yourself enough space. I'm just going to move this out of the way. Let's move it down here, give ourselves a little bit more space, because it does start to get a little bit messy here. So. Starting with the x squared piece, I'm going to times that by both the pieces in the x plus 1 bracket, then I'm going to move on to the 7x, then I'm going to move on to the 12, and I'm just going to keep it all really nice and tidy because it does get a bit messy here. So x squared times x gives us x cubed, and there we go, there's the introduction of the cubed here, which is why these are called cubics as well. x squared times 1 gives us 1x squared, I won't put the 1 in, we'll just write x squared, and then I need to move on to the 7x, now it is going to start to get a bit messy, so I'm going to try and use different colours here, just to separate it out a bit, let's go with uh, the green, so 7x now times x, there we go, 7x times x gives us 7x squared, it's positive, so plus 7x squared, then we've got the 7x times the 1, one lot of 7x is just 7x, and now I'm going to move on to the 12, so moving on to that to finish it off, we've got 12 times x, which gives us 12x. And then 12 times the 1, which gives us 12. There we go. And now all we need to do is collect the like terms together. So if we have a look, we've got the x cubed at the start, that's on its own. But we've got the two x squared pieces there and also these two x pieces here. So we just need to tidy them all up together. So 1x cubed leaves us with x cubed. We've got the 1x squared and the 7x squared, and that together makes 8x squared. We've got the 7x and the 12x, and that gives us 19x. And then the 12 at the end. And that's it, finished up, expanded, simplified. It's a little bit messy, there's a lot going on there. You do have to keep this really nice and tidy, but that is the end of that question there. Okay, let's have a look at another one. Okay, so introducing some negatives into our brackets here. So again, it's up to you which two you choose. Uh, so there's lots of different ways we could do this. I'm going to go for the two negatives to start with, and then I'm going to times that by the x plus 3. So let's just start with that. Let's go with x minus 4. And again, you can choose either way to do this, and x minus 2. Let's just get the negatives out of the way in the first step. So you might be able to be getting to the point where you can actually do these without writing down all the working out. Um, because you might just be able to spot those middle pieces there. We know we're going to get x squared to start with. We know we're going to get, and if I just write it on here so I can just leave a little bit less working out, we know we're going to do the minus 2x, we know we're going to do the minus 4x, and together they're going to make minus 6x. So we can just tidy that up straight away, minus 6x. And then we know we're going to get negative 4 times negative 2, which is positive 8. When you've got a longer question like this, if you are at the point where you can start to do these quadratics without writing all the working out down, that's brilliant. But if not, just write all the working out down for that. So x squared minus 6x plus 8. Now we're going to multiply that by the final bracket. That final bracket there was the uh, x plus 3. So if we write this all out in a single bracket again, what do we have? We have x squared minus 6x plus 8. Put that in a bracket and then put your x plus 3 afterwards, and we're just going to follow the same process. And again, you could put this bracket, this x plus 3 at the start, it's completely up to you. I might do that on the next one, but let's have a look. So x squared times x gives us x cubed. x squared times the 3 gives us 3x squared. 
and then let's move on to the one below. So negative 6x times x, just be careful there, is negative 6x squared. And then negative 6x times 3, 6 times 3 is 18, so negative 18x. And now for finishing this off, moving on to that uh, final piece there, the 8. So 8 times x gives us 8x, positive 8x. And then 8 times 3, both positive, so 24 plus 24. And then again, just have a quick look which ones we need to tidy up. Because of the order that I've done it in, they end up sitting next to each other. So we've got the 3x squared minus the 6x squared, and the negative 18x plus the 8x there. So if we tidy all this up, we still have our x cubed at the start. Positive 3x take away 6x leaves us with negative 3x squared. Negative 18x add 8 leaves us with negative 10. Negative 18 add 8, so negative 10x. And then the plus 24 at the end. And there we go, there's another one tidied up. Now one more before you have a go. So the wording is slightly different in this question. It says show that x plus 1, x plus 4 and x minus 2 can be written in the form ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. And it might say where a, b, c and d are integers, just saying there's whole numbers in front of them. Now don't be put off by this wording here. Essentially all it's actually saying is expand these brackets look and it's going to look like that. And if you think about what our answers look, answers look like in the previous questions, they all looked similar to this with a cubed, a squared, an x and a number at the end. Again, sometimes there might be pieces missing if they cancel out, but we'll have a look at this one. So completely up to you again, which two you start with. I'm just going to go with the first two. I could probably get the negative out of the way to start with, but let's just go with these two. So x plus 1, x plus 4. I'm going to swap it around at the end when I do my uh, final bracket here, just to write it in a slightly different way so you can have a look. So expanding this, x times x gives us our x squared. I'm going to skip this middle step again. So x times 4 is plus 4, x times 1 is plus 1, so in total we're going to get plus 5, so plus 5x. And then 1 times 4 gives us the 4. So again, I am missing out the middle step there, hoping that you are able to do that if you are looking at triple brackets at the moment. Let's have a look at tidying this up then. So we're going to stick this in a bracket, and I'm going to stick the x minus 2 in front of it this time. It doesn't make any difference, but you might just decide to actually prefer writing it like this. So x minus 2 at the start. And then we've got x squared plus 5x plus 4. See it in afterwards, it doesn't matter what order we write it in. Okay, so I've got to do x times all of them and then negative 2 times all of them. Let's see what it looks like when I do it like this. So x times x squared, again we get the x cubed at the start. x times plus 5, so plus 5x squared. Moving on to the next one. x times plus 4, so plus 4x. And then negative 2 times x squared gives us negative 2x squared. Moving on to the final ones here. So negative 2, let's pick a different colour here. Negative 2 times plus 5 is negative 10x. And then negative 2 times 4 gives us negative 8. Okay, so you can probably see if you do arrange it like this, look, the x squared pieces and the x pieces don't sit next to each other, but we can link them up, look, we've got those two, and we've got these two to tidy up here. So if we just tidy all that up, we still have x cubed at the start. We've got the 5x squared and the negative 2x squared, which leaves us with 3x squared. We've got the 4x minus the 10x, which is minus 6x. And then we've got the negative 8 at the end. And there we go. So it's written in the form ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. So a would be 1 in front of the x cubed, b would be 3, c would be negative 6, and d there would be negative 8. Right, here's some for you to have a go at. Right, so there's only two questions there. So pause the video, have a go, and we'll go over the answers in a sec. Right, okay, so answers for these. Now again, your working out might be different if you pick different brackets to me to start with. In both of these, I'm going to go for, well, the first one, I'm going to start with these first two. So if I expand that to start with, I get x squared plus 5x plus 6. And then I'm going to multiply that by the x plus 4. So times that by the x plus 4 to finish this off. So we'll get x cubed plus 4x squared plus 5x squared plus 20x, plus 6x, plus 24. And then we need to tidy all of this up and let's see what we get. So we have the x cubed, plus 9x squared, plus 26x, plus 24. 
Okay, so you might have done it in a slightly different order, but that's the answer for that one. So just make sure that your numbers match that. And again, if they don't, you can always go back, have another go, and rewatch this in a sec. The final one here, so I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the two negatives to start with, like I did before. And if we expand that, we get x squared minus 5x plus 6. So we get a similar starting point to the previous one there. Stick that in a bracket, I'm gonna times it by the x plus 2. There we go. But out of space, I'm going to have to write it that way now. All right, let's have a look at what we get for this one. Again, these get so messy. So the first one there, I'm going to get, I'm going to do it in the order that I've ordered done if, if I'd have written it like this. So x cubed um, minus 5x squared plus 6x plus 2x squared. Oh, no space here. Minus 10x plus 12. There we go, so messy these questions. Let's tidy this up. So we've got one x cubed there. We've got a negative five x squared and a positive two x squared. That gives us negative three x squared. Negative 10 x add six x is negative four x. And then we get plus 12 at the end. So again, just check that against yours. There's our two answers. We have the one on the left there and the one on the right. Let's just underline those. So we've got that answer there and our second answer there. Let's have a look at when we increase the coefficients of x again. Okay, so we've got larger coefficients of x here. We've got the 2x and the 3x, and I'm gonna start by expanding these two. So let's write that out. We've got 2x plus three and 3x minus two. So we know we're gonna get the 6x squared here when we do the first two. So 2x times 3x gives us the 6x squared. And let's have a look at those middle two. So we get minus 4x plus 9x and those middle two. So minus 4 plus 9 gives us 5x. So we're going to have plus 5x minus 4 plus 9. And then we're going to get minus 6 at the end. There we go. So to save, just save you a little bit of time if you can do this. And let's stick that in a bracket. And we're going to multiply it by the x minus 4. There we go. We can do it all from here now. So just following the same process as before. 6x squared times x gives us 6x cubed. 6x squared times negative 4 is negative 24x squared. And then moving on to the underneath. 5x times x gives us plus 5x squared. And 5x times negative 4 gives us negative 20x. And then on to the negative 6 to finish it off. Negative 6 times x is negative 6x. And negative 6 times negative 4 is positive 24. And then we just need to tidy all this up again. So we've got the x squareds there and the x pieces here. And let's just rewrite all that nice and tidy. So 6x cubed. Negative 24 add 5 is negative 19. So negative 19x squared. Negative 20 take away 6 is negative 26. So negative 26x. And then plus 24 at the end. And there's how to do that one. So keep it all really nice and tidy. Expand whichever two you want to start with. Tidy it up with your third bracket at the end once it's been simplified. And then just go step by step really nice and carefully before you tidy it all up at the end. And remember your, what your answer should look like. You will get these cubes, the squares, the x, the numbers. Sometimes they might cancel each other out, but in none of these they have. Okay, so here's some for you to have a go at. So there's two questions there. Have a go, pause the video, and we'll go over the answers in a sec. Okay, so looking at these ones then, uh, I'm going to start with the first two brackets on this one. So let's go with these two, and I'm going to try and keep this as tidy as possible. So expanding those two, we get 6x squared, we get plus 4 and plus 9x, so plus 4x plus 9x gives us plus 13x, and then 3 times 2 gives us 6 at the end. So stick that in a bracket, and that's what we're going to times by the x plus 2, so x plus 2, there we go. Right, and now let's times these out. So 6x squared times x is 6x cubed. 6x squared times the 2 is 12x squared. And then moving on to the 13x. So 13x times x is 13x squared. And 13x times 2 is 26x, so plus 26x. There we go. 6 times 2 is 6x. Sorry, six times x is six x, and then six times two gives us 12 at the end. And then we just need to tidy all this up. So we've got these two to tidy up, 
and these two to tidy up. So writing our final answer here, we have the 6x cubed, 12x squared and 13x squared makes 25x squared. 26x and 6x makes 32x, and then the plus 12 at the end. And there's our final answer for that one. Let's have a look at the other one. So I'm going to go with the first two again. So 3x times 2x gives us the 6x squared. 3x times minus 3 is minus 9, and then we're going to plus the 2x in the middle. So minus 9 plus 2 gives us minus 7x, and then 1 times 3 gives us minus 3. Okay, so stick that in a bracket and stick this x minus 2 afterwards. There we go. Right, let's expand these then. So 6x squared times x is 6x cubed. 6x squared times negative 2 is negative 12x squared. Negative 7x times x is negative 7x squared. And then negative 7x times negative 2 is positive 14x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x, and then negative 3 times negative 2 gives us positive 6 at the end. And again, we just need to tidy these up, so collect these together and collect these together. And what do we get? We get the 6x cubed. Minus 12 minus 7 is minus 19, so minus 19x squared. And positive 14 take away 3x is 11x, so plus 11x and then plus six at the end. And that's that finished. There we go, that's expanding cubics, um, or triple brackets, however we like to refer to them. If you found that useful, please like, please comment, please subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.